government's job in them days was to recruit members, to put an attractive program on for them and to help those young people develop. Well, there was a girls section and a boys section. The girls used to have their night one night a week, the boys used to have their night one night a week, and then we used to have a mixed couple of evenings. It was very much a community thing, I think that's the thing. Mr Adlington was there for a long, long time. It was almost, you know, it was a very villagey thing. The aims of the club was the physical, mental and spiritual development of young people. I think it taught us to be happy in lots of ways, discipline in another way, but I think it taught us to enjoy things most of all. We had ballroom dancing and you'd go down and you'd stand with people on either side of you going one, two, three, boys one side, girls the other, you know, and you waited for a boy to come and ask you to dance. I'm one of the volunteers here at the Youth Centre and the Youth Centre has been a resource that the young people have been using now uh, for over 60 years. I believe that this urban art project is a real example of how uh, young people can make a positive contribution um, to their community. The young people from the youth centre have been involved in uh, painting the subway which has a theme of past and present, new and old. And in the subway we have murals of what Charles and Peter was like back in the 20th century. We have pictures of the buildings, we have the street, what it looked like in 1920 and also on the opposite side of the mural we have the abstract images that the young people associate with Charles and Peter now in 2007. I'm really quite uh, disappointed to hear the negative publicity of our young people in our nation and I want the community to see that this project represents a positive contribution that they've made and I look forward um, to the young people making even more contributions in years to come.